Boom! Two plus two is four. Woo! Good morning, Drago! What's happening? We're off to some private school today. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we go once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, your favourite show brings you another episode of All or Nothing, Lecture with Garden City Eagles, as I lose my mind trying to think of good content to bring you. We are on our travels today, as it will take us about an hour, up the A1 and the B645, as we head off to Hayden Road, where it's Rushton and Higgum United, v Lecture with Garden City Eagles, in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. So who are you supporting today as we play our very first game of Quidditch? Gryffindor or Slytherin? The blood is erupt, followed by the golden snitch. Remember, the snitch is worth 150 points. Seeker who catches... But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get the football. No! So Rushton and Higgum United finished one place above us last season in 11th. They currently sit 12th after 10 games. Well, they've won three, drawn two, and lost five. Jari Mann and Aaron Cormack are joint gaffers and both took charge at the beginning of the season where they have a 30% win percentage. This is what Rushton and Higgum's stats look like. I don't care about your lands. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 30th of the 4th, 2022. Rushton and Higgum United 2. Ledger of Garden City Eagles 2. Last game of the season. Sweltering hot. Ronnie Bates and a doy with our goals. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Eagles. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? <laughs> business coming off the back of two league losses Tuesday we lost because we weren't concentrating and making mistakes you're playing against a team now which the league stipulate you're supposed to win today so we're going to start off in the warm-up and we ain't going to fuck about we're going to go out there and we're going to be focused on what we're supposed to be doing as an individual and as a team we're going to deliver on the pitch and it all starts from the warm-up make them work we are fucking inside and we have to make these guys work what happened on Tuesday cannot happen again I'm not going to come in here at half time and have a debate with you guys on what the hell you should be doing you have 90 minutes to do all your talking on the pitch with your feet. We have 15 minutes at half time. There's no talking from you guys. Do you understand that? If you're not dangerous going forwards and defend for nine minutes of football, but that's on you guys. That's not on me, Matt, or Neil. It's on you guys to dominate the player that you're playing against. Five pass. We're going to get out. We're going to have a good warm up. We're going to win this game. <laughs> your mentality. Convince me that you should be out there. Convince me that you're not tired. Players are getting taken off the pitch. If you've got energy in the tank, convince me to keep you on the pitch. Also, convince yourself that you're best in this game. We're going to come in here with three points. Nothing less. Are we going to win this game? Yeah. There's not one bad player in here. Please remember that. Right, I'm going. That will read goalkeeper. Wait a minute. Who are you? Vlad has just gone forward. Nikola Rusev, defender. Anindori Sani, defender. Dempsey Thomas, defender. Sam James. Carl Osborne, midfielder. Mike Smith, midfielder. Harry Dolly, midfielder. Sonny Buffett, midfielder. 
Mark Thomas, striker. Danny Charles, midfield. Richard Marvel, defender. Oli Charles, let's go there. Georgie Williams, let's go there. Hiya, Georgie. And the referee has signalled for Summers to get this game underway. So the old Alexander Hleb will pants on its loose ball playing to H, who plays it down to the Romanian Usain Bolt, who decides to cross this one instead of driving. It's semi cleared. Rusev with a shot from about 400 miles out. Russian and Higgins look to play that long diagonal ball. The Kiwi International has not got a connection on that. As they cut in their own shot, blocked by Adoy, who played it into H. Loved a little turn there. Lift it long over to the top of Summers. He's got a lot of work to do. Sunny is in that box with him. The ball is crossed in. Sunny is stretching. She can't get on that. And the keeper snaps him on the pin and scores him a sausage. Corners have played in by Max. As the keeper's dropped it. And he's decided to pull up his pants because his arrow's hanging out instead of getting up to focus. And it's a shot. And he's, oh, he's got down low to his right. That's a good shot, Steve. Bugger. Another corner to be played in by Max. As the keepers come flying out, they've semi-cleared. Rusev will give chase onto this. Can he keep it in? Where's his options? Looks to deliver. And that will be a foul all day long. Referee, get your cards out. The new Alexander Kleb to whip this one in. And the keepers managed to hold on to that one. And we're on the attack again. As the new Alexander Kleb looks to play him Summers. But he likes ball to feet, not in behind because he can't run. Number three looking to deliver this. Kiwi International does clear. Oh, number four has it on the half volley. And that is into someone's back garden. Sunny looking to have a strike. It's been deflected. Is the circus in town? Because that looks like a comedy act right now. <laughs> Max has whipped in another corner. Defenders cleared and Bruce has had half volley. It's bouncing around like pinball. And it's in the back of the net. It's an own goal, but we'll take it all day long. It's been one way traffic. Abby Days. Number four looking to drive forward as the non league Patrick Vieira runs out of his way. The line has been broken into number 11. Now we'll take a deflection off of Sammy Jane to go for a corner. The new Alexander Kleb looking to cut in and deliver. He's taken a deflection. The remaining Usain Bolt has won the header. They're trying to call a foul. He's had a shot. Why did a mark? Summers unmarked in that centre. Number 11 driving Dan. He's got number 9 in the middle. He's crossed it. And number 9 is clearly not happy that we've defended it. How dare we defend our line, selfish bastards. Corner to Russian and Himes. To the back post, they've won the header. That'll be cleared by H. But at the moment, it's not cleared enough as number three will look to recycle as he's just been juggling it over Summers and he's turned him again. I think he was in two minds with a cross or a shot, but either way, Daryl will collect. The non league patch of Yale with acres of space and time will play this out wide to Sammy James. This is Paul from the cameraman not getting the cross in as he's lifted it. And that is Mark Summers and what a goal that is on the R volley. Take a Sammy James looking to deliver another cross like he did for the second goal for Summers who's missed that one. It's bounced up nicely for Sonny and the keeper's pulled off another lovely save. He is keeping them in this at the moment but with that the referee has called for half time. Decent first half. We're winning this game now we have to manage it. You're not entirely convincing me that you want to be on this football pitch today. I've been wing back to have to scream out to run back in the defensive position. I'm having a player although he scored a goal not doing enough in the small areas. I'm having someone give away the ball who looks a bit of a liability at left back. I'm having someone who looks a little bit like Billy at right back. I'm having someone who's given away the ball more this game than he's given away since he's been playing in the first team. I've had someone who's trying to pass the ball through the opposition to give the ball to a player which is not coming off. You guys are quality players. I don't know if you've been playing too much football lately, but you're off the boil today. Yes, we are. Really. Does that mean that we have to lower our standards to their standards? Because the counter attack, they're always looking like they potentially could be dangerous. At the moment, they don't look like they're giving that. One goal, and you'll see their performance level rise by about. 50% so I am going to be making changes because none of you convinced me you are not safe you are not safe the public have decided today it's not you it might be you you are not safe you are not safe you're just about all right I need a bit more off the ball yes it's a game of football you're allowed to have a bad game but I can't have one two three four five six players five players having a bad game we're lucky to be winning the game with that we can carry one player not five it does not work 
If you are having a bad game technically, guess what? Put that effort in, put your body on the line and compensate for your bad touch or your bad game with energy in second gear. Neil pointed it out. If we've got people in our backroom staff that can see it, there's a lot of truth in it. We have to come off this pitch with three points. If that means that I have to make a change, I'll make it. Go out there, first 15 minutes, convince me that he's supposed to be on the pitch. Rushenheim get the second half underway as the instructions clearly was, press higher, attack in behind, take no prisoners. It is a quick start by Rushton and Higgum as they attack down our left hand side trying to cut in. A little bit congested. Where did Meathead join Rushton and Higgum? As number seven looks to deliver this cross, no one at that back post and we can relax. The old Alexander Klev looking to play this ball into the middle with Summers. He's trying to square him in, it's been defected both times. He had a second part of the cherry and twice Russian Higgum managed to defend that. Dempsey will play this into the non-league patch of Vieira who will nutmeg one of the gaffers as he drives forward and he's been fouled. He did have summers to the left of him. He thought about it as number 10 decides to do kick out. Ole, 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 ole. Yeah, he tried to nutmeg eight. the new Alexander Cleb to take this free kick. Referee's told the wall not to move. As Wallop talk about putting your body on the line as he shakes it off. He took it like a champ. Rushing and Higgum on the attack. Referee almost in the way as number 10 squares that off. And they've had a shot. Daryl called into action. The new Alexander Cleb with a corner. And he's only going to put it in the back of the net. Not only can he turn you in a phone box, he can score from corners. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 3-0. Let's have another look at that from a different angle. And here's that goal from a different angle. As you can see, they had a man on the post. But he decided to push Sonny. So surely that would have been a penalty all day long, but we didn't need it. It's 3-0. Big hill to climb for them now. Free kid to Russian and Higgum. He can't believe it. I can. It was shit. The old Alexander Klev is clean through, but he's got three defenders chasing him down as he goes around the keeper. That's a penalty, ref. Summers is calling for it. So is H. Ref, he's having a think. He don't need to look at VAR. He's giving it 100% penalty. Summers has already scored one for the day. We'll step up to take this. He did miss his last penalty. And cause you like, it's 4-0. We are so going to piss this World Cup. Daryl's looking to deal with this long ball. As now Dempsey takes a smack in the chops. And we will lift the ball up. Trotty will play it into Summers, who plays a little one-two. With the old Alexander Klebb looking to, oh, this is a four on three counter attack here, and that's a bad touch by Flav. We was in four on three, and into Rose Z by the Bulgarian Brooks. The old Alexander Klebb will play that out wide to H. Summers is in that box, the ball is played in, and it's another save by the keeper. That's come off his knee. Summers was on an hat trick. He praises the keeper for his efforts, keeping it 4 0. Russian and Higgum are not giving up despite the scoreline. As they look to play total football, they're trying to impress us. It's working a little bit. Don't have too much fun, no gents, all right? As that bouncy ball comes up, and that'll be a foul. Trotty has skipped past his man as he plays that ball on the edge of the box to the remaining Usain Bolt, who has cut inside. He has a little dink straight into the keeper's hands. If he weren't in goal, can you imagine what the score would have been? We've not had the Spice Boys on for a little while. It is two of them, and the referee calls full time. Russian and Higgum United nil. Let's regard the City Eagles. Oh, well James, well done. Brilliant second half performance. You deserve what you got out of the game. 4 0. We can't ask for any more. What I'm asking for you to do is turn up like that. Why do I have to come in and start yelling at you to play a game of football? What you're passionate about? Today was not about the 11 on the pitch. Today was a squad performance. I commend you on your professional attitude to coming off the pitch, to going on the pitch, adding to the performance that we had today. Matt. Say one thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> today 4-0 for the lads what a way to bounce back from Tuesday's disappointing result this is only going to build confidence going into Tuesday night against Winslow great performance from the boys thought we played very well look forward to Tuesday go from there so the game finished Rushton and Higgum nil let with Garden City Eagles 4 professional performance by us no mucking about got the job done and now we move on to our next game it could have been a few more goals if it wasn't for that keeper I don't think we was troubled at all at any moment in that game so next up another away Way game on a Tuesday night. You know what to do. Tala. Richard, get that song on!
and the sign And we'll lift you up We'll let you down But we're gonna ride Without you <laughs> Say goodbye